Hi guys, welcome back to the 10th and uh, final episode for now uh, on this series how to start playing when you have never played before. Uh, what I want to do today is uh, the last um, difficulty mode to enable that, which is complex traffic. And explain you about that and how traffic light work and things like that. Um, what are uh, city zones? Um, also want to uh, uh, highlight on that a bit. After that, I want to answer some questions um, or what you have been asking in the comments of this uh, series. And I think there are some interesting questions there. Like how do workers look for a job? Uh, what buildings are used for the whole Republic and what buildings are only in the uh, in the catchment area of, for instance, uh, where a, a worker is. Um, and finally, I want to uh, talk to you about the future of this series because we are now in the normal branch. And uh, while there we don't have realistic mode yet and we don't have, um, um, how do you say this, research uh, yet and things like this. And so how, how I want to incorporate this into this series to uh, keep um, making this a complete series. So first of all, let's dive into complex traffic. Um, and for that, we need to turn it on. Um, and we do that here. We can see we all have the hardest reactions and we are uh, enabling complex tra traffic. Well, maybe hold on a little bit. Complex complex travel what it you what well, what it does is you have these traffic signs here and we have our normal signs here which i will go over in a in a second and we have our complex travel which mainly is adding uh, priority ro roads and adding uh, traffic lights but there's also a lot of uh, road signs here uh, which you know you can kind of guess that 40 is a maximum of, of 40 kilometers an hour 70 is 70 uh, no heavy uh, vehicles uh, no cars at all no pedestrians and things like this but uh, there are a few um, interesting and i think this one is interesting i uh, wait a minute let me go here you can for instance say in my city um, i want uh, I don't want any heavy vehicles other than supply, for instance, supply for your food and things like uh, uh, this. Uh, I think those are, are very in handy, especially if a, if a city is like a go through road from your construction area. And maybe if, you, if you're constructing here that all the construction vehicles are going right through your city, that's not really desirable. So. With a road sign like that, like that you can o omit uh, that. And no uh, vehicles pulling a trailer other than supplies. Same one as this, but some uh, vehicles, uh, also modest one, are just a vehicle plus a, a trailer behind this. No overtaking, that makes sense. And here is the warning, no snow plows. Well, that means... Um, uh, basically, for instance, if we have a double road here and that we say, well, only plow one of these roads or stop plowing uh, at a certain, I don't know, if this would, would have been a road here, maybe we don't want it to, to have it plowed there. Uh, and that's what this sign is for. I made a quick tip on that and it became abundantly clear uh, back then that the sign doesn't always work or does sometimes work or doesn't work at all um, um, and I don't know if, if they have made any updates on that yet so that's for the the, 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 the complexer traffic signs which uh, are enabled there without having complex uh, traffic on oh I'm forgetting one the entrance to city what does that mean and how do you use it well what you basically do with this sign is you create a ci uh, city area and in your city area, you can have a maximum, I believe, of 70, 60 kilometers an hour, which is um, in Soviet areas the, the, the maximum um, speed you can have within a city area. Well, you create it by kind of uh, creating an entrance um, sign to all the entrance roads to your city. So if I click here, 
you will find and lots of you probably have already seen this the area is not defined correctly well that means you have to go where here define a whole city area so this is also an entrance road here so i can kind of add here and now you see this is our green city area here you can have a maximum of 60 kilometers an hour yeah it's 60 kilometers an hour also it says that your priority road signs are now oh i forget the name um are now uh your crossroad ahead signs uh are now priority road signs and i don't really know what the difference is there so for me it's a it's a yellow diamond becomes a yellow diamond road uh, or road sign kind of thing if i want to limit my city area to only this i can just say well i'm adding here uh, the, the city entrance and now here you will go uh you can go 80 kilometers an hour and here you can only go 60 kilometers an hour so that's for the for the city area road sign and now for the traffic lights um, we need to enable a uh, complex uh complex traffic simulation so yes we're going to enable it okay and now we can see we have um, a, a crossroad or a priority road or a traffic light road so what you can do for instance if you want to make a priority road like here here you can see all the intersections we have well if you coming from here it would make sense that this is a priority road here and that the um, the vehicles coming from him from there will have to wait for this intersection so you can click on it and here you can already see that um, these are the priority signs i'm going to escape and click it again and then you can click on it and then you can kind of uh, change how uh, where you want the stop sign number two you see that these numbers cor correspond with these numbers no we want uh, the, the number two we want that um, a priority sign right and here we want uh, the people to wait what we also can do is for instance here uh, let's click here and we want to make this you go away is a traffic light so that the, the the people have to wait well let's remove this we, we can have two uh, cycles one will generate a cycle with only one active road if if we have traffic lights here we can um, first that this direction all vehicles will go and then from this direction all vehicles will go and then from this direction that would be your uh, one active green lane when it's two active green lanes you always have if vehicles from here they can go that way but they can also go here and then the vehicles from here can go this way so this, this creates a, a, a bit of a different uh, cycle you can also see if you enable these we have two cycles and remove these and, and uh, for this one we have three s s cycles one of the three rows so you can kind of fiddle with this you can say well i want my interval to be 20 seconds um, and and can kind of look how um, your traffic is as smooth as possible you can also say well there are many vehicles coming from here so let's make this cycle come on thank you 10 seconds and then you can have you know you, you you can have various uh, variations here um well uh, don't forget to accept your changes once you're done so now here we have tra 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 traffic lights with one t um and finally you can kind of uh no signs you can remove uh the signs here and here that that's just easy okay um i think that was for the complex traffic it's it's mostly you can um for instance what i find very um handy most of these s s signs uh, work on um all on uh gravel roads and asphalt roads let me let me add an, a gravel road here uh, like so and i want it to auto build uh, so yeah uh, yeah thank you um I can't have a one-way gravel road uh, here are the one way I, I can have on this asphalt road i can say well this is one way i create one way this direction and i can ha have one way in this 
direction. But for that, we need to have upgraded to asphalt, which normally you would do later in game because in this year, well, 1971, maybe we, we do have some vehicles which go uh, 80 or faster than 60. The maximum uh, is 60 here. But if you like 1962, it doesn't really add anything to have your road in asphalt because there aren't many vehicles doing that. But if I wanted to have this road in one way, I could just, um, um, where, where are my signs here? Sorry. Uh, I could just say, well, um, I only want vehicles coming from that way. So I'm just saying, well, you can't enter here. And that's also a way to make a one way road from gravel. Would this work on dirt? Do these, these signs work on dirt? Let me see. Um, no, it doesn't work on dirt. So your minimum road quality need, needs to be gravel for that. So I think that's for the complex traffic. And we can kind of conclude that we are now playing on the hardest uh, settings, which are currently in the normal branch. Uh, so yeah, congratulations, you've made it so far. And now you can kind of extend here and build maybe some extra houses here. Have, have your construction area, build those. Um, and during uh, the recording, I uh, I also found, for instance, um, after I, I, I finished here, I saw, well, uh, we don't have any fuel here. And I did explain to you the end station. And one of the, the, um, the, the purpose of an end station is that your bus can refuel here so that the buses uh, don't have to refuel there. And I thought, well, one of the first Q&A which I asked myself is, well, if I would auto purchase here and I did this from the get go, something like this. And so I, 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 I'm never looking at this again and I'm extending my Republic and I'm building there and there and there and, there, and I don't know where. And at some point I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to auto purchase anything anymore because, I, you know, harder setting is harder setting. So how do I see where I'm still auto purchasing because if you have like hundreds of, of of these buildings where you can turn on auto purchase you can look at your what am i importing and i'm and i'm importing fuel and you won't have a clue where you're auto importing fuel and by that time i imagine we are we are creating our own fuel so you don't want to be auto importing it so how do you um how do you see this well for instance here once you are auto import auto purchasing i'm sorry you always have this this round number of what you're auto purchasing four for food four and then one for, or in this case four for electronics so that that's your key in how to look for it so what you what do you do if i go to my resource status this um actually says how much resources are, are there in the buildings in the vehicles in trains so if I kind of say I only want to see in the buildings, well, it doesn't change. Probably we don't have any resources in the in the build. We can look for fuel here. And when I click on it, we can see, well, oh, oh yeah, these buildings have fuel. Um, but, oh, there are all kinds of harbors here. What, 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 what? Oh, these, uh, sorry for my, these are the harbors, which are um, on the on the border, which are apparently auto purchasing. Well, that's a great way to see everywhere you have a rounded um, amount. That's where you're auto purchasing. So we can kind of, you know, you can kind of uh, put this, it, this won't do anything. But uh, the one building that we are actually... Oh, we are in, in the construction offices as well. We are still offices. I'm going back a minute to our um, construction area. And we can see, okay, all right, we are still all purchasing here. So we should turn it off and have our distribution office. We can do this for um, all uh, construction offices, I think. And then we're saying, all right, we'll have our distribution office. Uh, deliver the fuel there because we have a distribution office here and um, you and uh, well please deliver 
fuel there, there, and there. And yeah, fuel. And I'm probably here. The first fuel is going there. And then we can also say, well, uh, auto purchase. Put this off. Purchase like so. And uh, add you as the destination to deliver fuel there as well. So um, in a couple of well, there's also some, oh th these are the harbors. We should disable this as well. But here you already see that th there uh, the amount of fuel is changing, um, and probably this one will load some fuel as well. Yes. So in, over time, when the construction offices are using up fuel, this won't be a round number anymore. So that was for the for the. It can be a real issue if you have bigger republics. I have sometimes spent hours looking for where am I auto purchasing. So yeah. And another question, which was uh, asked by uh, by Frankie Berlin, um, and he ha he had a pretty good point: is how do workers find their jobs? Uh, well, what they are lazy workers. So what they will do first. Um, we have three uh, workers' residences here, so they will first go in the area where there are jobs. So it's always uh, best to kind of have have this leveled out, uh, so that you don't have um, uh, how do you say this? Have this level out so the, so so that you don't have too many workers. Um, once there are no workers here. They will, uh, th they will start waiting here. Um, they will wait for a maximum of one hour to be picked up. If they have been waiting for over one... Let's, let me pause a little bit. Um, this one you see waiting on platform is uh, no of no minutes of one hour. And here this person has been waiting 11 minutes. So I can't show you because there are buses coming every time. So and then they will go into the first bus there is. Uh, wherever that bus takes them, in this case this bus, uh, for instance this one here, is going probably to our bus station here. So then the workers will get out and go to all the uh, all the workplaces available. If there are, aren't enough workplaces available, and I probably, probably in this uh, uh, example there will be, yeah. If there are not enough workplaces available, they will go back to the bus station and wait for the next bus. Um, they will uh, have a total travel time from uh, the bus station to their uh, factory of a maximum of five hours. Um, and once they have been waiting here for over an hour, um, uh, they will Um, um, go home and say uh, this worker di didn't have a job the last day. You can also find it somewhere here in the worker without a job. I think maybe here. Uh, can't go to school. Tourist was unemployed. Well, we don't have any unemployment, which is correct because we don't have any unemployed workers. But you can see the number of unemployed workers and where they are living. Uh, Worker-wise, there's also one other thing to explain. Uh, that is if you pick up workers. We, we have our construction office and here are our buses. And we have said, well, pick your buses of, uh, pick your workers up from this platform here. Um, on a bus for a construction office and going to the construction site, workers can, uh, can stay a lot longer on the bus. Uh, up to nine hours, I have seen workers being on the bus in the winter with snowy road trying to deliver them to the construction site if it's not a construction bus but normal uh, c commuting to work the five hours is a pretty hard uh, standard actually um let me see I, i i made a list and i was wondering oh yeah um another question also from frankie was um it would be good to explain to you what buildings um, are used for the whole republic and what buildings are used for the facility only like um, we have here our city hall which only is for the city by the way if you have a city with a city hall inside you can also uh, click on the city name click on the city name 
If you can click on the city name, yes, thank you. You 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 do get the whole city area as opposed to, for instance, where do I find the city name here? Are we all having the same city? I can't find this. For instance, here. No, it's not not the right one. So, oh here, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's go moderate. Yeah, it has to be yellow. Like, if you don't have a city hall, then you will get this overview. If you, if you have a city hall, you you get all the statistics from your city hall. So you you won't have to find where the city hall is in the city. Um, so, what buildings are for the Republic? For the whole Republic? Well, the prison is for the whole Republic. Uh, the court system is for the whole Republic. Um, the TV station, this was a TV station for the whole Republic. The radio station, we had a small, and now we have a very small radio station here, is for the whole Republic. Um, and the universities, um, um, well, it's not for the whole Republic. To be honest, students have to be able to enter the university. Um, um, there is also... Um, you can have dorms near the university. Uh, in that case, you can create a university in the middle of nowhere with dorms next to it. Uh, but that mechanism doesn't work because yeah, you can do this and you, you can have you can create a university city. One university here, a couple of dorms where students can live, have some food, have some entertainment and all the thing culture, all the things they need, but you would have to move your uh, students manually to the dorms because they won't move in by themselves problem is that is you can't move um you you cannot move students further than that you only have children between 7 and 21 years as a, a separate group uh, and when moving you relocate all citizens even university educators well hopefully not into the dorms but then you have dorms with students of 55 years and older trying to m m m have their midlife crisis and um uh, want to have a second study and you know but you should want that you want to have your uh, children older than 18 having study into your university so i'm 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 kind of um uh, elaborating on a different subject here, but I don't think universities are for the whole republic. Um, so um, it's what I can. It's your TV station, your radio station, your court, uh, your courthouse, and your prison, which is republic wide. And you, uh, you know, for the next city, you won't, uh, you don't need to build another prison or another courthouse when there's enough uh, room there. Um, I think that's kind of it if I look at what I was planning to tell you um, and then um, going for how to proceed let's, let, let, let's not uh, fast forward here um, I want this series to be a complete series all the time I am finishing this up now because in the normal branch this this is it and very soon we will get realistic mode and we will get uh, a uh, garbage will, will be and we will have more research and things like this so how I want to do this um, it depends on the mode like if if I enable realistic mode which is the hardest mode you can imagine and uh, there is no more auto buying and things like this I, I, uh, I do have a video on how to set up your city in realistic mode but I want also a video to to be part of this series so what i'm planning is once the, the, this releases on the normal branch there will be an 11th episode in this series where i state the uh, series number and i will explain to you realistic mode and when we add garbage we're going to add garbage mode and de depending on the mode i will use this city or if i want to explain realistic mode i'll probably uh, start all over again uh, because in my opinion, you should start with realistic mode and not um, enable it halfway. Uh, but that's my opinion. 
So, um, I've been uh, babbling on enough. Um, if you have any questions or if you need some more explanations or if you want me to elaborate on something the next episode, please let me know. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this series, uh, we, which doesn't stop, but it stops until there's a next uh, release on the normal branch. Um, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed all your uh, very sweet comments. Thank you so much. I hope to see you very soon because that means that we have a new version on the normal branch. So have a nice day all. Bye bye.